is up y'all it's me tasha c and in this particular video y'all i will be recapping and reviewing tyler perry's new series um sisters um season one episode one pilot episode the first episode series premiere okay shout out to my youtube fam if you're not from my youtube fam go ahead subscribe like and share this video and don't forget to hit the bell for notifications it, it's over here it, it's somewhere over here anyway y'all um i want to say this is you know kind of a dramedy type of show and um to me it's a little bit more dra drama you have four women and sisters beautiful beautiful sisters they're not uh sister sisters but you know what i mean so if y'all remember the classic um, Living Single, it's a little dash of that. Of course, another classic which never got the proper, but this show never got the proper image, of course, was Girlfriends. And uh, maybe, I can't really say Insecure because it's not based on like four best friends. It's like two or two out of uh, four or whatever, like two or four friends. But at the same time, I, I'm like, well, I'm, I, you know what? I'm going to review the pilot and i think i'm going to continue on the show just to see how it goes but y'all if y'all want like i said more of a hot mess and the soap opera soap opera please watch the show the oval which is also comes on right before um sisters and you know and watch this review and other uh youtubers um that also uh reviewed uh oval as well and i think a couple of them have watched it so like i said i haven't y'all is about to be two o'clock in the morning, so let's get on with this. Now, we got this scene. The first scene is we see one of the characters, and we find a nickname is Aunt Andy. And she's up here getting completely d down, d down, whatever, and by this guy. You know, see, when he runs in and puts in the drawers, and she's like, you know, hey, you know, yo, oh, that was great, love you, blah, blah, blah. And he comes outside with a cookie, but he's got to get ready to go to 5 p.m. He's something like, well, I gotta get ready, you know, take the kids or something like that. So first, before you know what's going on, going, you make it seem like, are there in, are there in like a, you know, relationship or married or just like, you know, have a family included, and they just um happen to, you know, like, cause the way he was talking is if like get the kids, you know, ready, blah blah blah, and then you know, I gotta get ready for this and blah blah blah, whatever, right? And you know, he's also like, she just got promoted or just got hired as this new divorce attorney and you know like she's got to prove you know this is also her b-day and she also makes impression to prove why she got this position so you know it's you know like everything's against the wall in order to get this you know client and get this set this divorce divorce settlement all together okay which we'll see later on now we have you know, him, you know, he gets a call, and she, she was like, well, go ahead and answer, but, you know, his phone start vibrating, it's the wife calling, whatever, right, I guess he must work out, pay the fitness, or whatever, because ain't they 24 hours, because whatever he's telling the wife, whatever, or some personal thing, because if he got to leave at 5 p.m., he always conveniently goes, whatever, on the weekend, or wherever, well, it's not the weekend, because she's working, but, um, she, you know, the, the, well, we can't connect the song with the weakest because it turns out he's married and he promised, you know, I promise you it's not going to be that much longer, blah, 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 that talk, whatever. And it's interesting that Andy is a divorce, divorce lawyer, but yet, interesting enough, she's in a whole situationship. And he thought, and he's calling her the love of his life, and they met and I'll, uh, uh, in, the, in the fruit aisle trying to see that the cotton candy flavor grapes that came in. And he said it was love at first sight and whatever the case was, that blah, blah, blah talk, okay? But, you know, I doubt that anything past probably having sex in that field with Jill and getting some to go for Olive Garden is pretty much what they do, okay? I don't know exactly. I don't think they said what city this was in, um, the show. So, he got to leave. And then we see earlier, let's say, uh, oh, earlier. Now, I don't know, okay, Sabrina is the other friend, this is the uh, bank account, she gets a call from Danny. Now, Danny is on the way her work, and she's talking about her boo, which we'll get into that later, has likes a big Instagram post, okay? And then, she's like, I got mad at him, blah, 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 I'm about to go off, blah, 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 this and that, whatever, and, um... No, I think she calls Karen first. Now, Karen is on her way to a past marriage. And us ladies, we love getting those, don't we? 
<laughs> okay. And she on the way to the doctor, but she's saying she's getting her annual check. But like I said, Danny calls her calls her first about the guy. And you know what? She got next day just she was going on set and posting the road trip. Now this she said anything that she caught this Instagram hole from uh, 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 Paris, I don't know what it takes from Iceland, whatever, I don't know what, she, what, who, what country she said, but um, she didn't say anything about the DMs or she thought calling the DMs or nothing like that, right? So, Karen, like, okay, I'm about to call, be called in, whatever it is, but Danny, we can already see is one of the overtop, like, you know, sometimes it could be funny or kind of borderline, okay, cross this line, but she might be possibly one of the comic reliefs of all four of the friends, okay, you know, maybe we'll get a backstory of how these women met or something like that, you know, whatever, but even though it looked like, you know, whatever, I guess they're all supposed to be apparently in their mid, um, based on how the way the doc was talking, we talk about kind of later on, maybe all these ladies are, you know, they're still young, but in the mid-30s, and you know how, depending on some people, like, you know, you have the ages, and you know how some people act like, once you get 30, everything uh, drops down low, or whatever the case is, and whatever, some people would be 25, but it just, especially the woman, like, you know, the value of age sometimes can, you know, this pressure, you're supposed to have everything by 30, okay, some people think you're supposed to have a baby by age 29, depending on this, and if you're not married, or you don't have this by this and this such and time, you know, every, you know, you, you know, so forth, so, Danny also calls Sabrina, which Sabrina's, I guess, is in her office, and, she, and Sabrina is only taking the call because she thinks she called about a, a, a Eddie's birthday. Like I said, Eddie was getting, you know, you know, um, getting uh, her cakes blown out on her birthday and got a cupcake for a sub ninja who is completely married. So she's considered to be the mistress, you know, might be says how folk, you know, the mistress, the side, side piece, whatever, you know, you know, the coleslaw instead of macaroni cheese and the rib tips. You know, just, okay, so that part. And Karen, for what I um, think, um, I think Sabrina and Danny was talking about, you know, like, you know, like I said, Danny's still talking about this guy, I think whatever, he was talking about, about this guy now. Karen and obviously um, Andy are the closest, I guess, out of four. They have, like, you know, we're everybody's best friends, I guess, but we besties, the besties are probably looking sister-sisters, you know what I mean? You know, that type, type of thing. You know, so because she's the only one that actually know knows about the guy or knows about this guy. She's like I said, all he's been seeing, screwing. I meant seeing him. No, I meant she's been uh, 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 screwing, uh, screwing him. They've been smashing for about six months or whatever. OK, after they met, like I said, in the fruit aisle, I'm um, trying to see if they had cotton candy grapes still in, in the aisle. So <laughs> you know, I'm just playing paraphrase, whatever. But so. The whole thing's around Andy's birthday. She's got a court, you know, the court case, like I said, the first divorce settlement. So we're going to fast forward and then get to the and Danny's job, a little part of that is. But let's go to the part is Andy is on her way, you know, to go to his firm. And, you know, the guy's talking like, you know, I know we took a chance with you, so do your best, whatever, you know, even with other people, my client, client, client you know, his colleagues were saying, like, don't do whatever, take a chance. So, you know, basically better get this together, so she meets with her first client named Helen, and he's basically say like this, if you able to get this client, and get it going, and get this settlement, you know, get this, you know, divorce finalized, like, the way the client wants to be done, then guess what, she got other rich, rich friends, and people who waited for dependent on divorce, that can bring ching ching money to this firm, okay, so, she meets with Helen, Helen, she talks to Miss Helen, and Helen actually wants five million in the house, and then Michael brings his more because they went to go talk because it turns out they actually came in, you know, I guess to not going to court. So Andy comes, you know, in, she's in court, um, the cross, you know, and they're having, uh, I think this would be called, I don't, I think what would be called be a mediation, mediation for divorce, whatever. I think two meeting with the lawyers. I don't know. The only reason why I know that because I had to take a class last year about conflict and stuff. I remember a little part about that in our book because we had to talk about that in one of the discussion boards online. So she was like, you know what? She hands the paper over to the so the uh, Michael. That's that's the soon to be ex husband or the ex husband and his lord lord. And the original amount that they wanted to get is twenty five. That's what it. Oh, um, Andy said, and you know, they're like, are you crazy? Blah, 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 blah. And Andy was like, oh, okay, really? So do you want to go to trial? Do you want to go to court? You want to go play play? You want to sit there? Bing, 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 bang with the judge with, you know, 
you know, whatever, when you want to take it there. So she was like, I subpoena your records. And it says something about taxes. And a lot of state Mrs. Green doesn't, you know, doesn't know about whatever, okay? But do you, you want to go to court? You, you want to get, you know, give us what we're asking? You don't want to give us what they're asking for? Because they were trying to give, what, about about $4 million or something like that. They were trying to offer them. She's like, oh, no, we're good. You know, we could, we could always take this court if you don't want to, like, you know, work with us or whatever. So, you know, um, here the lawyer first tried to tell them. They go and walk out the room. Like, you know, you we can have you, you know, I'll report you to court. <laughs> they went up. Pay, 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 just pay to walk out of the basement, right? And um, and then she tells her client, Helen, she was like, look at the body language. They're going to settle. Because, you know, Helen was like, I could have just took, I just could have went to the form. And she was like, no. I, Andy was like, I can get you more than that. So they come back and he was like, okay, all right, 20 million. And, and he was like, yeah, we'll take the 20 million. And the house, too. he was like, house, Michael, Mr. Michael Woods, Mr. Green, because he sure was turning green, uh, about to go credible hulk the way he was looking. And he was like, you know, I hope you die with every penny this walk take out with his lawyer and stuff like that. Okay, then. But for some reason, you're behind and want to go to court. So I don't know what he was hiding, you know, whatever, but it was enough, whereas he just settled with that instead of, you know, going to court about it. So, so of course, Helen was like, oh, thank you so much. So not only did Andy, like, break through, and she's, she's proven, like, why she was worthy to get chosen, promoted, or hired by that firm that she works for, but... That's like her, whoever boss is, says that's going to bring in the money. Ching, ching, ching. Okay. So later on, we also see that, you know, Danny's at her job and she was, you know, working with a, about a baggage and gave the person a free, you know, free, they don't want to pay the free, uh, $45 for this thing that can't fit into the little slice. But then she sees this guy named Zach. And apparently, this is Kev, Kevin's ex. I mean, Karen's ex named Zach. And Zach obviously works with Danny's boyfriend. And this is why I'm doing this, boyfriend. And she stops, Zach, Zach is on the car. He got a lovely couple of them. She's like this, hold up, hold on, stop. Zach, if y'all don't know the Ellis, the Ellis, the, the Ellies or Ellis's, I, um, I don't want to mispronounce the name, but they also have a YouTube channel, shout out to them. And they're a married couple and they have like three beautiful kids, whatever. But they're hilarious. They're working for them and they've been married, I think, about 16, 17 years but I found out about him last year or whatever, but it's, it's dope. But I did see the previous like, wait a minute, ain't that DeVille? DeVille? I don't know if I'm saying the man's name right, you know, but he's on here playing Zach. And then he's checking him like, wait a minute, you up there did my girl wrong, blah, 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 this, something that. You better tell Jerome, you better stop checking and liking these big ass, liking holes on the, on, on, on Instagram timeline stroll, okay? And he's like this, y'all not even together. Do y'all, y'all want to go again? She was like, oh, okay, but we're in a situation ship. If Danny is like this over a situation ship, okay, I don't, I want to, but I don't want to see how would she take, say, if she is actually in a relationship. Because she's doing all this. She's about to get bumped by the cart, trying to take the people and the wife, well, I guess, with a husband. I was like, I want to hear about these bitch asses. Hoes. Well, well, can I hear about them? Still. So she's like, I got to take them all, you know, to they, you know, to their ride destination, whatever. But she basically checks, check, like, you keep doing my girl wrong and stuff like that. You know, and Jack's like, hey, can I just do my job, whatever? Okay, whatever. So Karen made sure to get tested, you know, for HIV, STD, you know, and probably STD, whatever. So she's negative. And while the doctor, because remember, she's getting her pap smear. But like I said, y'all, i never seen a smear, you know, I don't want to be graphic, but that's what she was going for, y'all. I'm like, I wish it would be. I didn't see the little opener, if you know what I mean. Uh, that's a nice way to put it. Um, I didn't see that, and she was just come forward. Then the lady was like, oh, well, you know, are you still with the guy? She, I think she was like, There's, no. Karen said, because she was kind of like, you know, please don't ask me this question. Or please don't have to push question or whatever, you know, about asking her like this, uh, uh, whatever. But then she admitted, like, the reason why she was kind of antsy or seemed like agitated, because she just broke up. And she just, she tells, you know, OGBG, when, when she was like this, or her apartment physician, I don't know who she was. I mean, she was a doctor. And then she explains to her, like, uh, you know, I just had a broken this year tomorrow. Well, you know you're 36 in any pregnancy that's past 35 drug. You know, do you want to freeze your ex or whatever? And blah, 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 blah. You know, um, whatever the case is. If you want to start a family, blah, blah, blah. Because it's high risk, blah, blah, blah. And I don't care. Just like, oh, my gosh. Can you just finish whatever? Because, you know, that that's what we be told. And I mean, I'm like, you know, like I said, my mom had me. But she already had kids probably. But she had, you know, past year at your space, you know. 
it's some, you know, it's a terms unfortunately you have to deal with when you get a certain age and if you don't have a family or you want more or you're trying to start kids, whatever. Sometimes you might be told like, you know, sometimes by the time you're 35, depending who you're around or uh, whatever, they be thinking like, oh, you too old as hell to be having kids. You know, basically like you and your cooch need to get AARP benefits by the time you're 34 and you still ain't got your families and stuff together. And then sometimes some of the people... You know how they sometimes get on people who have kids too young or with the wrong person, but then get on some of the people who don't have kids or stuff or say relationship or marriage, whatever, by a certain age. <laughs> you can't please everybody. <laughs> so she was just telling her, and Karen was like, okay, thank you. But I want, you know, all that, all that stuff, whatever, you know, what case is. So that's where I found out, like, these, at least Karen is, is, you know, in her, you know, knocking on, you know, mid 30 store. And so. Like I said, they have a lady because like I said, they post a meeting and Andy party. But here we also have another scene with a kid, like I said, with Sabrina, who took Danny's call about her situation or the visible relationship she thought she was. Okay. Um, so she must have be does she, is the guy she talking to, uh, oh, do we ever see him or she thinks she's talking to, is she following him and made a fake ass account? Does he know she's following him? Did she did you know, I'm just saying the way Danny seemed to be, we never know, okay. So we got a um a scene of Sabrina's going back to the job to that bank teller and one of her co-workers and I guess maybe one of her friends but was like this is this guy and we found his name is uh, you know uh, Calvin in the second because you know that your name gonna come up because like I said they're bank tellers and um, I think like Sabrina is one of the bank tellers and also the man and the manager and um the guy was like he was like I think that guy likes me maybe he tried to bore me because it's actually two lines. And Sabrina's begin to open up one, and, and you know he doesn't. Calvin does not go to her, um, to her guys, um, you know, to her guys, um, um, um line. He's like, I know that dude wants me, but he probably either he loves me or he hates me. No, he loves to hate me. He loves, you know, whatever. But she thinks there's a chance that he, you know, he might like him. And he's like excited, probably a little side of the He's like, you might like me. He's like, no, really? Okay, whatever, we'll see. So when Cam makes his deposit, whatever, he decides that he, he finally tells Sabrina. Because like I said, he goes to her. And he was like, you know what? Oh, um, I've been coming here for six weeks on a Friday to make deposit. And I just want to ask you, you know, I want to ask you, are you on a date? You know, could I take you out on a date, whatever. And she was like, how do you know about it? How anybody know like that? But this is interesting. So I don't know. Maybe took a card or something like that, or read it. But he must follow on Facebook. They didn't say who the social media was. I don't know. Maybe it was for copyright reasons, whatever. But he was like, your status says you ain't got nobody. So that's what I'm saying. Is it might have been possibly uh, Facebook, or whatever, or whatever. So, but she said, you know what, my friends, my good friend, my best, one of my besties is having a birthday party. So meet me at Freddie D's at 9 p.m. We should be still having drinks by then. So I might have a drink with them. So it's kind of like. It's a date ish, and they make a date for that night. And I don't think she tells nobody at all until it actually it happens. So, like I said, they're getting ready for this night of enjoying us. Probably, like I said, everybody's like crapping hands that Audi has made, you know, this set, you know, was able to get this case done, able to get this settlement done. So, that's bringing, like I said, some moolah and more pasta moolah to this place now karen actually i think on her way home whatever um no i think she's already home whatever and she's getting ready and then zach just comes in and um like i like i said he's like you know still trying to apologize for whatever and karen's playing like i've been there and done that with you whatever i even had to do antibiotics whatever my stuff was green i thought it was game green down there whatever because of you of your sorries and the bs i kept taking and you know zach is like i'm sorry i really am going to get help whatever which you know we'll get into him in a couple minutes about that about that right so he's still trying she was like no get your hit and get out of here whatever i'm gonna be changing the locks but just get your stuff now so he you know, she just like, okay, I'm done, done, get your stuff now, whatever, and I think either she walks away, she walks away, honestly, I forgot, but it ends up like she basically giving a warning, like, get your stuff out by the time, basically, you should have the stuff out by the time I get back from my outing. So, um, Danny, Sabrina, and Karen actually are the ones talking there first at Freddie D's, because they all end up meeting there, and they all talking about, um, 
the man and wonder kind of like, you know, I'm like, don't break up her birthday because she thought she was supposed to get a proposal from, you know, the guy she's with. And he was like, well, we don't even know who the heck he is. He should keep it around for six months, whatever. And, you know, they're still trying to be a mystery. So it's between Sabrina and Danny. Because, like I said, Karen seemed, like I said, and Audrey actually a little bit more closer than, you know, with each other than, say, what all four, okay? So, and he comes in, and the first day Danny's talking about his happy birthday, bitch. And they're like, why are you going to break up her birthday? You know, so they end up not only bringing up her birthday, which she didn't want to talk about and talk about the case, whatever, but they're getting talking about, okay, where's this guy? Why we haven't met him? Blah, 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 and all this other stuff, right? And then it was one scene, you know, like, uh, you know, after they ordered all the drinks and stuff, and uh, once, you know, to when they almost got the commercial break, um, it's so already a little, uh, felt a little cocky, like, here we tell my relationship about y'all mans, but y'all ain't got no mans, and truthfully, you know, damn well, you ain't got one either, and then he was like this, uh, though, she was like, uh, you want, you want to make it to your next birthdays, whatever, <laughs> like I said, and he was getting behind, ahead of herself, and even saying she did have a man, it still was like, really, you really got a mind? Then when they ain't got nobody, or you better than because you think you got, got somebody, or even if you do, whatever, girl. But they get off bad. So again, um, they still talking, talk about men and Karen talking about um, um, getting you know get it like I said with this dude. And I think um, Danny goes out because you know Danny or, or Danny like I think goes to smoke whatever. But there is a time where actually Sabrina and it could have been Sabrina already, um, you know talking about um. Um, you know, like uh, about the guy, um, the guy. So the guy, Calvin, is coming in a little bit later, and they were like, "Oh, it's you know," because she was like, "Oh, it's nine o'clock. How do you know? Y'all know it's nine, especially Danny. How do you know it's nine o'clock, girl?" And she like, "Oh, because my date is her date. It's date." And you know, they you know ask of course a couple questions. It comes up thing he thinks of D. Okay, she was like, oh, then, "I don't know. I hope this. I don't know. I mean, you know, whatever." But uh, you know, she didn't know, but it was brought up, but she didn't know for sure. But she was, but whatever. So Danny being the over big personality that she is and kind of like sometimes limitations are the farthest from her. Like she crosses boundaries. Like if there's a boundary right there, she will hop over it. If there, if it's higher than her, she will go ahead and get a ladder and still cross her ass over there. Just even if she busts her ass to get to the other side of the boundary. Okay. Because he comes up, oh, hi ladies and stuff like that. And then all of a sudden she like, well, hey, okay, how are you? Do you suck that? And he was like, you know what? I'll just be going to the bar. That's okay, Mr. Bitter. Okay, I apologize for whatever. But soon, you know, he goes over to walk away. Now, he could have been offensive and actually just walked out from her even saying that. And she was like, well, I just want to know him. And I was just trying to say that. And it was just like, oh, my goodness. But like I said, Danny's going to be one of them over-top personalities out the group. Okay, whatever. And like I said, they still had to uh, talk, whatever. So also, I think that's trying to bring the size to go over and talk to Calvin a little bit or them to get to quote, quote, know each other. And there's a scene that Danny and um, Karen are talking and, Dan Karen, you know, Danny appreciated that Karen never mentioned that she was, you know, th that Gary was married. And, you know, they make a picky promise. I mean, you know, this is so weak, you know, but they, they basically promise something, especially the relationship they've been in in the past, that there would never be in, you know, Karen will not keep taking somebody back that she cheated on her, and B, and nor like, you know, she would respect the Annie to be, like, be in a situation ship and be in the whole darn affair and be part of it, whatever, and be a mistress, a uh, thought on the side, whatever, I mean, she didn't say all that, but I'm just saying, so, or be in a circumstance where she's waiting for this guy to leave. And so, when Sabrina's still talking to Calvin a little bit, um, I think right before, um, she was, you know, um, Calvin's like, you can ask me whatever, go right ahead. So, you want to know if I'm gay or not, whatever? I mean, it's, I mean, so she asked me, you know, what's her name, is we gay? She was like, yeah, that's just her, you know, she is what it is. But she was like, well, it wasn't just, she probably would think that I was just that way if you didn't say anything or didn't say it to her. She was like, yeah, I'm sorry, but I mean, you're a well groom, and you know, my co-worker, he thought, you know, you probably like him or whatever. And he was like, let me just give you, just ready to tell you this. I don't like men. I'm not attracted, not bisexual. I'm not the L, you thinking that. I like women who are five, seven, with a small waist, whatever, like you beautiful queen, so she, you, you know, type of thing, whatever. And so, 
it is what it is. So, you know, they were talking and what they're talking in the previous shows that are going to continue to talk. So we'll see from there and uh, whatever. And, you know, they just talk about it. And he even asked the question like, well, do you, you know, why you got no man? You know, if she, he was like, well, you know, basically like let her know, like, you may have to not be without me any, any, you know, our man anymore. You might find, find the right one possibly. You know, hopefully he can, cause he let him. Know, you know, he like you don't think I had um met you just to have sex with you and took all that time. And she was like, w well, you know, whatever. You know, you could could have. Cause I mean, that's true. There are some people who will invest in days, in weeks, maybe months, maybe on and off again. Sometimes even years to stalk, try to invest a seeking the person let them hit. You know what I'm saying? They, they get something for the person or whatever, or they, there's a chance they could have with them, or some, if, you know, they get a half-assed way, meaning if they don't have a situation ship and thinking maybe it's going to be more or whatever, and hold on, and, you know, babysitting their kids from the past. You know, you just never know. Or, you know, a person up there been hiding in the bushes and stalking your ass for about 10 during years or something like that. I mean, there are some people who will sit there and they stalk you, and they do it for years, unfortunately. So, just because you said about six weeks, there are, unfortunately, some people that mm, might invest in some, you know, they they hide in the bushes, okay? So, anyways, they talk, and, you know, like I said, I think they end up leaving, whatever. But, and, of course, it, as soon as Gary, guess what? Gary makes a surprise. So, all of a sudden, I didn't understand at first, you know, came for some flowers and stuff like that to get um Andy. Just that quickly, the pinky swear, the swear is gone, and the pinkies were dead wrong, because we see she end up leaving, you know, with him, they, you know, whatever, and, um, but like I said, um, because Danny ended up, when they finally realized maybe Fula, that was Gary, because first you see him behind, because at first I thought it was Zach, but it was Gary, they show, so Danny pulled Sabrina, hey, God, I'm doing, okay, I gotta take her real quick, and, you know, so they could finally see him. They're like, oh, you're the guy who, uh, you know, uh, Andy been talking about, we've been hearing about, we haven't seen yet lately, blah, blah, blah. And so, yeah, I came to get my girl. They just had left. So, of course, look, you know, look like she she got served, if you know what I mean. <laughs> and, um, and again, she thought she was going to get an extra hour of birthday. Because Andy and Karen also talk about this, like, the thing is how what you accept and how some people say just easier, yeah, you can say I'm gonna leave that person, but sometimes how much are you willing to take? And are you strong enough to actually leave or go back? And because Andy said, like, hey, the most of the time they meet, like he'd be there for a certain amount of hours, and he leaves somebody in the morning to like to have sex, and that's pretty much the routine. It's almost like he just, you know, dips in and just, you know, gets some, and that's pretty much it. And this comes with the whole thing. I swear I'm gonna leave. Because when he, you know, finished, you know, they had the phone, whatever, and, and she didn't know she was in the group text, and you know. All the four rest of the ladies, uh, uh, uh three, the, the four, uh, uh, um, Andy got to group, didn't know she was in group text with the rest of the girls, basically, and then she did do some, something, and then when she thought Gary was coming, uh, coming back about the go, he got a text or whatever, and guess what? It's his wife saying that their son is sick and he thought he was going to be there, and again he's like, I swear, I'm gonna, you know, we're divorced. It's the end. Um, I mean, yeah, you can be in in a relationship and a friend, and sometimes it drags on y'all still each other. Y'all might even still have me having sex, whatever. In the cases, but the real reality is he's still with his wife, and he's not divorced. But he said, "Give me some more months." And she was like, "You told me that three months ago." But he's still like, "I know, I know, but I love you." Blah blah blah, and he goes to leave. And here's the thing here. Karen comes back, because like I said, you know, Danny was trying to get her to convince her to take her to strip club, but Danny wanted Karen to cover the whole bill, make it rain on her behalf, okay? Oh, but uh, Karen's like, I'm going home. So when she goes home, guess who's in front of a brownstone park, wherever she's at, um, is, is, um, is Zach. And Zach comes in, and she was like, you know, because Zach, you know, um, Karen got her brother to change the locks, and he was waiting for her to come back. And, but he's still like blaming people. He's like, I know, I'm sorry why I keep doing this. You know what I went through and I look blah, 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 ready to change, blah, blah, blah. And he's crying, he's crying, begging on knees, blah, blah, blah. And she cries. So at first, you think that she already just let him smash or whatever. But he's sitting on his couch, uh, sitting on the couch, whatever. And all you hear is, the, you know, um, her, uh, Karen the vibrator is up there having a full conversation. <laughs> and, you know, she didn't lock her door, though, and so, B, you still hear B, and who comes in? 
it's Zach. And Zach is like, what did you do? I just want to be able to hold it. And he just still was just to be a little bit, had yeah, me tickled a little bit is, you still hear the vibe like, Z, you know, on speed five or whatever the max speed is been what she had. And he's like, what did you use that for? Whatever. So I already knew where this was going. Like, okay, something don't happen with it too. You know, she might just give up the cooch on the platter and that's pretty much what it was because he gave her some lip service as well on her set, or other lips and, you know, pretty proceed to go down there or, I mean, of course you didn't see, but you pretty much, you just see, you know, that. So, anyways, that means, you know, Karen and him are Coco still together, at least for two seconds. So, anyways, um, we got the morning after, the next day, whatever the case is, and um, her boss, whatever, is like, oh, we got a new client. And so she goes in, because, you know, like I said, Her is one of Harold's friends. Uh, like I said, well, also, Andy had brought this up in the conversations when we were meeting with all the ladies about, even though they could grasp about her you know, victory, and it was the highest one that they had in the firm, she's like, they basically hired her, you know, um, y- 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 y'all know this, hired her, you know, to deal with the black athletes that are getting divorced, whatever, you know, whatever, you know, I'm probably this, you know, maybe a little further in action if it's still in it or whatever, or, you know, make sure they get, you know, that one black person in to fill, <laughs> fill in the gap, um, so, uh, but, so, but like I said, she was able to get something that everybody else, I guess, couldn't get in the firm. So, you know, like I said, Helen referred because I think that's what she told her once she got the settlement. And so, you know, got their offer, you know, this, you know, that's going to be processed soon or whatever. So she goes into her office and there's a lady there named Jasmine, right? Hmm. So. We end up, uh, Jasmine was like, you know, I'm, I'm ready to be my husband, ready for the divorce, and, you know, I'm just going through this, you know, but, you know, and he's like, I'm sorry about the whole process about divorce, but, you know, it's last step, and Jasmine's like, yeah, I know, so Andy's like, well, you know, just tell me your, you know, the husband name, whatever, she's like this, his name is Carrie, first, you know, Andy just, uh, mm. Andy better, but he said, Gabuval, whatever his last name is, you know, Andy kind of just looked like this. Because that's Gary's name. So, I wonder how she's going to get this. Is she going to use the proof on herself? Well, how's she going to be able to? Because, you know, the whole thing is, it's like, Jasmine not trying to sleep because he's a fair. So, because of the fair. So, how, that, that, now, that'd be interesting, like, you know, because looks on the preview, she's going to try to see, can she get out of it? And, basically, she's basically, be, basically, like, either or. Either she takes the case or she might get fired. Okay, because she's like, it's an interest conflict, and he's like, you know, you better make some, you better make some peace and figure it out, you know, basically, with her boss. So, anyways, y'all, hugs and loves. Let me get this on. I hope I can upload it. Y'all can enjoy your spare time. But I think I'm gonna continue to also review this sh- series show as well. It's like, like I said, it's not a hot ass mess like the old, but interesting hot ass mess. Okay, so so far for ish, but at the same time. It's good to see a chill ass show. And I kind of do want to see, like, do the top of the ladies' background. What is going on with Zach? Because he keeps saying, like, you know, I hate that I keep doing this. I'll get help. And I don't know if he's one of those people who has been in traumatic experience or experiences or been abused younger, where he's gotten to the point that he purposely, because he never dealt with this issue, he self purposely self sabotage when he gets into relationships. Whatever. Or is he a sex addict or whatever? But we'll see. And is Danny going to confront Jerome? Okay, because Jerome is act, I guess, working in the same department or whatever. But she was letting him know, like, let him know, you know, you know let him know, whatever, you know, I, we got a problem, whatever. So, that too. And this, you know, and Sabrina and this metrosexual uh, man in Calvin, I guess, whatever. So, I, like I said, I do want to see, you know, like I said, it's chill. Um... I, I want to know more and see how this comes out. So, y'all, 9 times of 10, will see me in future reviews. So, y'all, take care. Have a lovely night. Enjoy y'all Thursday. Enjoy y'all weekend, whatever. And I'll see you in the next video. Take care.